Please welcome David Haken with the Kansas City Drawdown Society. Hello, thanks for having me. Well, I'm going to have two presentations, um, and they're both today. At 1 p.m., I'm going to have a session called Climate Solutions Supercharged. And basically, I'm taking um, climate initiatives that have been here in the Kansas City area and all over the country and uh, talk about some of the success stories. And I'm also going to talk about a couple of the, the secrets that made them successful. And um, you'd be surprised that they're in all different kinds of areas of um, climate solutions and uh, really fascinating stories. And at 5 p.m., I'm going to do a session on carbon footprint eating. And uh, I will walk people through the website and talk about how uh, it's a new initiative to convince not just vegetarians to go vegan, but people on a standard meat-based diet in our country uh, to encourage them to try to eat less meat or go vegetarian or flexitarian. Because we know that um, it's a huge impact even if people in our country start eating half the meat that they normally do. But with uh, the carbon footprint eating, it really encourages people to try a meatless diet for a month. And the secret there is they will notice how much better their health is, how much better they feel. And then they can go as far as they want and whatever they do, it's going to greatly increase their carbon footprint. So that's what's going on with my presentations. Thank you, Bob. Please welcome Philip Frasica with Renew Missouri. Hey, good morning. I'm Philip Frasica, Renew Missouri. I'm the director of our Kansas City office. Uh, we advocate for renewable energy and energy efficiency programs across the state. I'm really going to be talking about the incentives and programs that are currently available around the Kansas City area, and not just in Missouri, but also in Kansas and what uh, Kansas Cityans can look forward to right now in terms of climate action they can take in their own home. And also going to be talking about some of the programs that we see on the horizon that will also really uh, be quite positive, I think, in terms of reducing our, our footprint, such as things like the Pay As You Save program. Uh, it's currently being worked on in St. Louis by Ameren and uh, Evergy and Spire here on Kansas City side are going to be uh, looking at having a similar program, which is going to help a lot of homeowners reduce their energy usage in the short term, open up some capital options. So I'm going to be talking about that program and others that we're looking forward to and uh, hope you can join us. Thanks, Bob. Please welcome Leslie Scott with Reuseful. Hi, thanks, Bob. So I'm Leslie Scott. I'm with Reuseful and Do More Good. Do More Good is a social enterprise that creates capacity building technology solutions for nonprofits and reusable is our first project. And today I am going to be talking about using tech for good. So we hear a lot about the evils of technology and there certainly are a lot of downsides, um, of course, but it is possible to use it for good. So we're gonna be talking about a nonprofit uh, based in the Bay Area that started a, uh, a network of uh, groups across the country and go through some of their projects as well as take a deep dive into a couple of the ones that we've been working on here locally in Kansas City. And I was really touched by how his words because uh, my project is uh, about all about reuse. And I think, uh, you know, we hear more about the recycle side of things, but if we can be lowering our carbon footprint footprint um, just by reusing items so we need fewer new ones. That's certainly uh, one way that we can be making a positive change. So that is going to be at four o'clock today and I hope you can join us then. Thank you. Please welcome Meredith Evans McAllister with Compost Collective KC. 
Hi there. Um, yep, my name is Meredith McAllister. I own Compost Collective KC, and we are a residential food waste collection company in the Kansas City metro area. So we have two different options for um, making food waste composting really easy. We have <clears throat> our curbside pro process as well as a bin swap process. So you can find a few businesses around town and purchase a bucket, take your food waste there. So our goal is to keep food waste out of the landfill. We know that when food ends up in the landfill, it's anywhere 20 to 80 times worse than uh, when it's composted. And every day in the US, we're composting about enough food to fill the Rose Bowl Stadium um, every single day. So wipe the stadium clean in the morning and we'll fill it up um, by the next day. So. Um, that's our goal is to limit food waste, <clears throat> sorry. And then <clears throat> we also uh, really try and work on uh, promoting simple steps that you can take to just reduce your overall food waste. So um, you can follow us on our social media. You can check us out on our website if you'd like to learn more. Thank you. Please welcome Queen Wilkes with Greenworks in Kansas City. Hi, um, my name is Queen Wilkes. Uh, I am a board member, program support specialist, and alumni for Greenworks in Kansas City. Um, Greenworks in Kansas City has been empowering Kansas City's future leaders to care for our environment, contribute to our economy, and create healthy communities since our founding in 2007 by Kate Corrin. Um, starting with a cohort of just 12 students, Greenworks has grown to serve over 150 students grades 4 through 12 every year. Um, we believe that hands-on environmental science through outdoor education, uh, service learning projects, career exploration, and workplace trainings are the experiences needed to empower Kansas City's next generation of leaders to be competent stewards for the earth. Um, with over 16,000 hours of internships funded, 4,000 native plants and trees planted in the Kansas City, Missouri area, and 100% of our Greenworks students graduating from high school on time, um, we are proud to be in alignment with our mission. Whether it be in our Environmental Connection Opportunities for Students program, or ECOS for short, um, where we get fourth through eighth grade students outside, grounded in mindfulness, and connected to our ecosystems through activities hosted at Lakeside Nature Center and the Anita B. Gorman Discovery Center, um, or through our Green Lab program, where we equip 10th through 12th graders with entrepreneurial and leadership skills. Um, preparing our city's leaders is both our goal and our pleasure. Um, even in the midst of the pandemic, uh, we have walked the walk when it comes to supporting and educating our communities. Um, the opening and success of our sustainable marketplace, the Perennial Bee, is an attribute to that. From our first opening in August 2020, the Perennial Bee has successfully provided our students with an opportunity to learn about green businesses, while also allowing us the opportunity to educate the general public on the critical issues surrounding plastic pollution and overall the importance of conscious consumerism. And we sell products like the unpaced tooth tablets um, and recycled or bamboo toothbrushes to eliminate that plastic waste. We also sell our buzz wraps that our students actually make um, that replace plastic food wraps. Um, we also sell slightly used clothes and jewelry. Um, all of this to actively encourage our community members to question our dependence on unsustainable practices and take active steps towards more sustainable practices. And we're honored to have been invited to speak at this year's uh, Earth Festival. As a community-based organization, we know that solutions are better when we find them together. Um, we're happy to do our part in uh, creating a cleaner and more equitable society. And we appreciate the Kansas City, Missouri community for standing alongside us to do this vital work. Um, if you'd like to learn more about us, please check out our website, greenworkskc.org, um, or check out our Facebook or Instagram pages. Thank you so much for having us, and we hope that you enjoy the rest of the 2021 Earth Day Festival. Please welcome Stan Slaughter with Missouri Organic Recycling. Thanks, Bob. Thanks, Howie. I really appreciated that keynote. I'm going to be speaking today at 2 o'clock. The title of our, my program is Composting Food Waste and Trying to Stop It. The, the point is, uh, I work for Missouri Organic Recycling. We are a leader in the Midwest and around the nation, actually, in collecting food waste, recycling and repurposing mulch, compost, two-sided, keeping it out of the landfill, keeping it from generating 
and also increasing sequestration, even through the mulches, but especially with the compost that we produce. Finally, we make that compost with food waste and we are one of the leaders in collecting this food waste. We collect 60 tons a day. And uh, over the years since 2005, we've collected enough to fill Arrowhead Stadium to the very top. It's over 400 million tons of food waste. So um, we feel like we're doing a good job. We were looking to expand. We have been working closely with the climate um, program that's recently announced through the Mid-America Regional Council. And we hope to expand very soon to increase our capacity. At this point, even though 60 tons a week is a lot, it's only 5%. There's a million pounds of food waste generated in Kansas City every day. So um, half of that comes from homes. And to address this, we've started a educational outreach. I'm the director of the educational area of Kansas City of Missouri Organic Recycling. And we now have a grant with the state of Kansas. We're serving 50 schools. We're providing $200 in funding for infrastructure. We've developed a curriculum, more like a textbook actually, but online to serve these schools. Uh, students take four different lessons in using, making compost, using compost, the ecology of compost, all about worms and the carbon cycle. And these are easy lessons for teachers to use. We're finding that they're enjoying them a very great deal. And we're looking for the, forward to the projects that these students will generate as they do this. I spoke for, to kids for 20 years. I sang, for, sang and talked for 45 minutes and it was over. Now we're creating a 10 hour, 15 hour block of concentrated effort for students and teachers. And we hope to have these things continually going on. I'll be describing this program in detail and showing you the operations of Missouri Organic as we go. Um, also, we're supporting composting in the community. We donate about $60,000 worth of compost and mulch to nonprofits, churches, and uh, organizations throughout the metro every year. So come see me at two o'clock today and we'll talk about trying to stop food waste. Please welcome Stephen Melton and Jennifer Brown with the Citizens Climate Lobby of Kansas City. Hi, I'm uh, Stephen Melton from Citizens Climate Lobby. Uh, you may know about us. We're the people who pass out the Vote Climate for the Children stickers at uh, events like, like, uh, like the uh, Earth Fest. And we also pass, put out yard signs, passed out yard signs for last year's election. You may have seen them all over town. They, they look like this, Vote Climate for the Children, and uh, we passed out something like 1,400 of them all around town on both sides of the state line. First of all, I'd like to thank Bob Groves and all the other great people at the Climate Council of Greater Kansas City for making EarthFest 21 happen this year. Um, I'm Jennifer Brown. Um, Steve and I represent the Kansas City, Missouri and Kansas chapters of Citizens Climate Lobby. Um, we're a nationwide and international group we're nearly uh, 200,000 volunteers working to stop climate change through the legislative process. Um, we currently have a bill before the US House of Representatives that targets carbon neutrality by 2050. Um, it's called the Energy Innovation and Carbon Dividend Act or HR 2307. And Kansas City's own Emmanuel Cleaver is one of our co-sponsors. Um, this bill places a cash fee on fossil fuels that increases predictably every year. All the fees collected would be distributed directly back to the American people as monthly dividends. So how great would it be to get a check in the mail every month paid for by the coal and petroleum corporations? Um, because everyone gets the same carbon dividend, the smaller your carbon footprint, the more money stays in your pocketbook. Yeah, so by incentivizing people and companies not to emit CO2, which the bill does, we can reduce CO2 emissions by 30% in the next five years. And as Jennifer said, be carbon neutral by 2050. In fact, putting a price on carbon is the single most powerful weapon we have against global warming. 
And we can also create affordable clean energy and save millions of lives through decreased air pollution. We thank Kansas City Mayor Quentin Lucas and the entire Kansas City, Missouri government for making carbon fee and dividend a federal legislative priority. You can learn more about Citizens Climate Lobby and the Energy Innovation and Carbon Dividend Act uh, by going to our website at kccl.org. That's kccl.org. Um, and we ask you to join our 45 minute Earth uh, Festival 21 webinar at 1 p.m. on Sunday. That's Sunday at one o'clock, where we'll more fully explain why federal carbon pricing legislation is an essential weapon against the fight in the fight against uh, climate change. Thank you all for all you do to save life as we've known it on this planet. Please vote climate in every election. And we'll see you all Sunday at 1 p.m. for our presentation on federal carbon pricing legislation. Thank you. Please welcome Bob Grove, President of the Climate Council of Greater Kansas City. Probably help if I unmute myself, wouldn't it? I want to thank A.Y. Young for sharing that great song with us. I really enjoyed that, Save the Planet. And I want to thank Howie for his inspiring speech. I mean, a lot of history, a lot of information there. It's, it's great that we have made so much progress and there's still a lot to do, but we, we're moving in that direction. So thank you, Howie. Thank you, A.Y. The Climate Council is a nonprofit public charity whose mission is to educate, partner, and advocate for solutions that reverse global warming. You just heard from many of our partners and you'll see more of them over the next two days. The council's goal is to amplify their voices. And we do this by producing events like this, the 2021 Earth Festival, and by publishing a free weekly climate digest, and by hosting the Climate Hour radio broadcast on KKFI, and by publishing partner interviews and other great video content on our YouTube climate channel. Partnership with the council is free. Our job is to provide resources and opportunities to make our partners' voices even more effective. You can join us and receive the free weekly climate digest that lets you keep up with our partners' news and events. You can also subscribe to our free climate channel on YouTube to, to see video interviews, discussions, climate hour broadcasts, past Earth Festival events, and sometime soon, this and other videos from EF21. That's the partner part of our mission. To satisfy the educational component of our mission, we provide a series of live sustainable living workshops that are free to groups of 10 or more. And those groups can be your family, friends, neighbors, clubs, churches, schools, businesses, you name it, any group of 10 or more. Sustainable living workshops are entertaining and you walk away with the knowledge to take control of your personal carbon footprint and well, as AY says, to help save the planet. So visit our website for links to our partners, for the Climate Digest, for free sustainable living workshops, for our climate channel, or to volunteer to help us help our partners. Our entire staff, including me, are unpaid volunteers. All of the donations and grants that go to the council go 100% to support our partners. If you want to make a big difference to a lot of different environmental groups, the Climate Council of Greater Kansas City is a great place to be. So visit us soon at climategkc.org. We've got a great lineup ahead, Climate University classes all afternoon today, a great film and music event this evening produced by Cinema KC and the Kansas International Film Festival. We have another great day of Climate University classes tomorrow, and then we wrap up the festival with a casual climate concert and some great conversation tomorrow evening. So thank you for attending EF21. Let's all grab some lunch and be back here for the Climate University at one. Thank you. <laughs>